All right. This is a really basic tutorial on how to use Wireshark on Kali Linux. Wireshark is a bit of software you can use to analyze your network, see if there's uh, any suspicious activity between hosts. Um, you can reassemble packets. You can do quite a lot of stuff with it. But this, one, this little tutorial is just going to cover literally the basics, how to get it working, how to apply filters. Um, so I'm using Kali Linux and the way to bring it up, uh, you want to run Wireshark with full privileges uh, just because with this machine for some reason there's an issue. Uh, I've not figured it out yet but yeah so you want to sudo Wireshark pop your password in and then it'll yeah that's the issue. So here you have your list of interfaces. So you want to obviously go for your primary connection, whether that's wireless or Ethernet. This one happens to be what eth the Ethernet connection. So double click that. And then the machine will begin monitoring the network. So these are all the all the packets that are flowing. Um, you can see there there's a ping going from from one host. Not sure what that's about, but these are all things you can look into um, because obviously you can see where it came from, where it went. So you've got your source the destination. And that's between two devices on the network. One's trying to reach the other for some reason could be suspicious who knows but as you can see someone here is using Dropbox uh, you've got ARP protocols from these devices um, with the packet capture it's best to leave it running for maybe a couple of hours um, and then once you've got your capture file, you can begin to analyze it further by the use of filters. And to bring up filters, you've got some predefined options here. So if we want to look at TCP only, we can hit that and go for it. I don't think we've picked up any yet, uh, but I can quickly show you if I move that across and we go to Firefox, you should begin. Uh, if I define it as HTTP traffic and go here, let's go to Google. You'll see the responses here. So if I type in remind me later, you'll see a response. Cali Ducks. A lot of activity just occurred. Uh, let's go to Aircrack NG. Yeah, so, as you can see, you can pick out the data as well within that packet. So, here it is. Obviously, that's going to be encrypted. Or maybe not. But the information contained. It's all hashed. WordPress content. So one of those websites that I previously visited, uh, they were running WordPress. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers the basics of Wireshark. Um, after you've finished your capture, 
you want to hit stop and then if you go to save as drop it in a in a folder call it one two three save it and then you'll be able to apply your filters when you get a chance um, but yeah that's pretty much the basics of Wireshark uh, you can also look at your IO graph so that was that would have been when I visited that website I'm going to change the Google images and when that was when I went to aircrack.ng so yeah um, I think that concludes the first tutorial if uh, anyone has any questions just drop me a comment I'll reply alright cheers